Does he freak doom that is maybe a blink dagger away from being able to sort of even those scales a little bit if you could do to not go for uh let's say the pit of malice even though that would have assured the kill it's just not worth the lane especially with these na teams we always talk about how much they favor their laning stage of sammy at a certain point just because you are starting to push this wave out a little bit more but nothing at this point that yamson can't really handle his last hits are looking okay eight and three doesn't exactly top the board but and just fine considering there's no yeah and he's going for the orb and you kind of have to just because it does give you kill threat onto alexo at that stage and then the hood we can't really step up but oh my goodness Gunner. every hit it just stings so bad but yeah mid walking his way bot looking to make some sort of play here z freaking moo though are unbelievably low on hp who does have some wand charges though so they're gonna give this a go and uh yamson actually has no mana wow they burned through that shield pretty damn quickly. Now they turn their attention onto Sammy. Z Freak was a HP gone. And with this wave constantly pushing in, this is kind of a smoking gun here. And Sammy Boy, he goes down again. But where is the storm? That's the question right now. And he's top lane. He's waiting for a mistake, specifically coming out from the hoodwink. And I think he barely saw him here with the vision. But this could get messy if he's not careful here. He needs to find a really clean jump. And there it is. The bushwhack. Still not going to get a great bounce on the cask for maybe the third or fourth time in a row, but they still find the kill. The problem is Esk is here. He's a little pissed off. He wants some revenge. Husky's going to try to run through the trees, get back under the tower, and he'll buy some time. But yeah, Esk with the swashbuckle back up. Simply card right now. Everyone else has been sort of forced to move around a little bit, and you said Downs would love to do the same to Divide, but as long as the Underlord sort of holds his ground, do you feel like that's something that Wildcard can sort of rally around for the next five to ten minutes? Oh, certainly. And... Well... Look at this little fight here. The bushwhack didn't land, but there's no way Gunner dies. Come out, ET. It feels like they should at least suspect it. Yeah, and the Storm Ridge mid oh. Fiend's Gate. Oh, Moo. Well, that solves that problem. They're going to jump straight in. Moo's in trouble. Can't he get away? Gunner's Gunner's here. Z Freak is as well. How far can they pull these sort of enemy heroes apart, though, is the question. And it looks like not at all. They're maintaining their cohesion. They find Moo. Gunner's forced to zip away. And now Z-Freak's kind of caught uh, behind enemy lines here. Device should see him, but I'm not sure he can catch him. He doesn't have that Atos delivered to him just yet. But still gets the Pit of Malice down. Acorn shot into Bushwhack. Z-Freak has nowhere to go. And Esco finish him up. The losing 30% of all of your damage is kind of kind of brutal. Kind of annoying to play versus. But look at this Haven wildcard have now. And okay, zipping on right. by. They need the Doom. There is Z-Freak's play. He's going to drop the Doom down now. He did get it onto the Dusa, so the Mana Shield is burning. But now, yeah, there's Gustable in with the Mana Void. Not enough for a kill right away, but it drops multiple heroes, though. They'll take down Sammy. Yamsun dropping as well. But now what else can they get? Gunner wants to zip in. He needs to get the rune first. He is going to be able to do so, but he needs to be able to catch somebody. They get the Underlord in with the Electric Vortex. Divai going to try to hold his ground. Oh. He's still got one charges. He'll pop him and fight. Gustable is the one to get taken down. And they might actually be able to go on to Gunner here. Ask is trying to roll onto him. He's not quite able to make the connection he needs. He's still trying for it, though, and with the Blink Dagger, he He's might actually it. do it! Oh, oh man. Remember now, if you're Nouns, is Gunner... Yeah. Zips all the way across, grabs himself a Haste Rune, gets the stun onto Esk, they'll follow it up with the Cask, and they're gonna try and force this. Okay. okay. Esk, at this point, he might just go down no matter what. The Maledict is ticking him low, but Sammy's gonna heal him up. He got the Rolling Thunder off, so... He's not going down just yet. Husky, in fact, is the one to fall first. Divai, meanwhile, Beans gated his way in, but they still need to deal with that Wraith Pact. It's such a significant amount of damage mitigation. As Kostable joins the fight, drops down the Mana Void on a TPing S. They'll find that kill, and now they would love to go for more. They dropped the Doom onto Divai already, but with Yamsen into the fight, they've got to back up, but there's going to be oh, that no. Stone Gaze into the Bushwhack. Oh, Gunner. Unable to turn himself around. Z Freak now has to fall back, and... Maybe with one last soul assumption, yeah, they can get to Vi finally, but they need more. Kosabli's going to try to come in. Bushwhack oh. though from Alexo is going to stun him up. Yamsun's starting to dish out some damage. Jump, but look at this. The smoke's going to pop just as the familiars were flying over. Uh, I don't believe Mu was actually looking in that direction, though, so... They don't get the immediate stun down, and they are in some trouble. Husky has to fall back. The sharpshooter took a lot of his HP. 
But in the meantime, Esk, I mean, he hit up Mu three or four times and he just hasn't taken any damage. He's still not taking that much damage, buying so much time for his team. Now Zifri jumps in. There's going to be the War Stomp on it too. Gunner pulling Esk into the fight. They're going to drop down that Death Ward as well, just looking to break through someone. They do get Esk. Devai, he's in some trouble. Sammy's going to try to heal him up and now Kasabli joins the fight. They're going to just look for the easy kill onto the Pugna while they can, but he is TPing away and that is going to have to force out the Void, which means they can't go for choice. He'd love to have this item just to jump onto the Pugna, but at the same time, are you going to buy a Nullfire? How are you dealing with Decrep? And the roll comes in. Oh no! Stone you Gaze. Doom. Gonna come out. Yeah, that Doom did not really do anything there as the Lincolns just sort of pops and there's no more fight. It's over. Nouns have to fall back. Moo is going to try to get himself away. Actually, they want to try and take this, but yeah, Esk is not going to give them that opportunity. He was able to use the roll up and now... Well, now they're going to start to turn. Kusable has to hold his ground. He'll pop the BKB. Goes for the Mana Void. It's enough to take Alexo down, but I think that's the only kill they feel comfortable going after here as the rest of the lineup will scatter to the winds. Maybe not. Kusable, he's thinking about it. If they can pull them a little bit further forward, they've got the jump. Gunner's going to zip in. Kusable trying to make his move. Can they get a kill here? Dubai is pretty damn low. They will finish him off. How do they deal with Yamsun? Right now, it looks like the answer is they don't. They just take the one kill and back off. But Wildcard... They have to take the smoke, but... If they do, this is a great setup in all the supports. Z-Freak just has to pop it and try to power through, but he doesn't get the Doom off in time. He's just going to have to fall back. He does have a buyback, so this is the point where Wildcard need to be a little bit careful with how far forward they go. Switcheroo is going to come out, though, from the well, from the Witch Doctor, but it doesn't really do much good. He gets taken down, and uh, he unfortunately does not have his buyback, but Z-Freak is going to rejoin the fight. They're going to look to take something here. As Esk getting hit up, able to swashbuckle himself away, though. Meanwhile, they actually did stun up Kosable there with... The, uh, with the bushwhack, but he's able to blink away. They're trying to sort of reset this fight as best as they can on nouns. As Gunner zips in, gets the kill. He gets bashed up, though, so he does not have a whole lot of health to work with. Has to be so incredibly careful here, but he's going to be able to zip himself away. Divide Llamas the one to go down. Now the Mana Void out from Costable gets the kill. Buybacks are flooding in from Wildcard. A flock down. They get really baited out by that Doom and Z-Freak. Oh, Z-Freak, uh, no. Might, might go down, yeah. That might be your little freebie there. The Storm is zipping in for the revenge play. They need to find Esk. Mana Void wasn't quite enough damage, but they do drop Esk low. Oh, Esk is going to get taken down, but it's Costi... Sable falls as well. Does he have buyback? No, he doesn't. That is very awkward now for the defensive nouns. I don't know if they can... I don't know if they can really mount a defense without the AM and wildcard. If they push... Well, I mean, this Storm, if he hits that level 25 talent, is suddenly going to be a lot sort of tougher to deal with in terms of his ability to clear lanes and just straight up do damage so wildcard want to try and take advantage of the time they have before he hits that mark they're pushing up onto the high ground once again uh gunner actually gonna come in because Tablet's here as well that's a lot of splash damage that they're doing sammy's gonna get taken down right away alexo dead as well they drop the doom onto the medusa ask meanwhile is rolling but for nothing he was trying to hit up the storm who just zips away so now ask has to go even further in to find a kill but he's still not going to be able to do it. He's just going to try to get away. They'll fiends gate themselves to safety, or maybe not. Esk going to get caught, stunned up. Roll up actually keeps him from being stunned, but he needs to be able to get to that gate. Otherwise, they just need to try and stand their ground. They will do so, but there's going to be the death ward coming out. They got the maledict onto Devi as well, so he's already lost about half of his HP. But Esk still fighting. Yamsa right along for the ride. Mustabale dropped low, able to blink himself away, so the fight will continue. Mu and Z Freak trying to hold in the tree line. They actually get the stun down onto Esk, but with no other cores here to do damage. It looks like the Pango might survive. Soul Assumption, not enough damage to kill. And Esk will get away, but Divai did fall, which means that now Yamsun has to clear out as fast as he can. Yeah, B can be TP. No Doom to cancel it, but gotta be careful. Mu just resummoned as well. He just got 25, so he wanted to resummon, get that extra bird in the fight, but this is really killer positioning from Wildcard. Switcheroo gonna be used here. He's trying to buy time. Husky, though, jeez, he is just taken down into Vi. That's a very nice play. Getting three. Husky, though, buys back. There's going to be the Vortex pulling them all in. Medusa dropping low already. They're going to try and get through that first life. They use the Doom for it's this, gone. so they have to. And oh, no, it's timed. Absolute disaster. The timing is perfect. Now they're just going to straight up take the fight. I feel like they just go for the end here. And sure, you're going to be pestered. You're going to be annoyed by the Pango, but... You've used Glyph already. They know that there's no situation where they don't go for the end. It's just the defending three. It's just the Aegis timeout. Everybody was already preparing. Wildcard were ready to leave. That was their disengage. That was their plan where he gets the BKB TP out post-Doom. There's no basher, but yeah, I think it's just over.
Ancients dropping. There's no more Glyph. There's no more Defenders. It's game. Nouns take it off of the back of the... But yeah, it's been a while since we've seen the Core Wyvern and... As excited as I am to see it, obviously, ET. Game three. Wildcard is very capable, and we see a huge clash here. They've got the vision, though, and I think the Husky might be paying the price. But look at the Blood Rite. It's going to hit on Ooh. everyone. Not enough, though. Husky will go down. Moose got to sort of walk away here as well. And... Let's make it out. Sammy's got to wait a little while for the shield crash. That's a nice play from Yamson, though. Forces Moose to turn around for the stun, and by doing so, he leaves himself in. So, regen in this lane is starting to get sort of whittled down a bit and they could just do it again yeah they're gonna go for it there's gonna be the stun the reality rift the blood right because i believe though hp not looking so hot trying to fall back husky might just be able to carry on sammy that's a nice swashbuckle but husky's just gonna keep on chasing and he will get the kill and i think esk actually filling his bottle might be a little bit of a problem here he doesn't have a point of the savage war just yet but you know once he does well, now Esk's bottle is going to be empty forever because you know Gun is going to send and split for the runes pretty much every time he has the opportunity to. As bottom lane, the trades again. Everybody dies. Just going to plow his way forward and instead he actually goes on to Divai. But now they can turn their attention back onto Sammy. He jumped into the Blood Rite once again. I think they can get another trade for Husky here, but if Kostafli is the ones getting the kills, they really don't care. And now, Divine might actually go down as well. He's got to sidestep the blood right. He is able to do so, but that only pushes him further into that tree line. Does the blood seeker go he needs in? A target. He's trying. He really has to dodge, but there's the blood right though, and he's gonna. He's just gonna straight dive the tower for it. He should get it. Can he now get out in time? But yeah, he can. Cause Sammy. Well, he doesn't do that much damage. Gunner can put even more damage onto this tier 1 tower. Maybe even take the tower in the first maybe 10 to 12 minutes. You are really going to be putting Wildcard in a bad spot as Esk TPs back in. Immediately gets stunned. But they don't want to do much more than that. Now the TPs come through from Wildcard. But now it's too late. Yeah, they might be able to get this kill on the Husky. It doesn't have boots. It's still a little bit rough. And Okay, Ooh. damn. Big curse. Oh, they, they have to get it. A little bit more, but... Does Sammy Boy have the fade away? No. He gets oh. eight the bottle, and then the rupture comes through, and it's on a target without a TP. Oh, so man. So getting hit up. Meanwhile, they stun Esk in the middle lane, and you can't. Rupture onto Sammy. Sammy does not have a TP, so this is going to get a little awkward for him. He's going to try to just run as fast as he can, and this might be a bait. Kostabli's coming in. He's going to get stunned up, but Husky's here as well. They're going to try and take this fight. Kostabli, though, lost a lot of HP, and Yamson is trying to track him down. Mortimer Kiss is now flying through. And they will take a very good trade on the wild card side. I think Husky's going to get to walk away. Saw that ward at the end of the day, but uh, it's super unfortunate. And curse, looking at bottom. Mm. They have this play to get out their snapfire if they need it. Right next to the bear. The move but might get taken down here, but everyone, yeah. It's five heroes. They're coming, and they can't take this fight anymore. They're going to get Husky, so they can at least get a kill going there. But, oh, the root. On Yamson, he really does need to back off. Z Freak doesn't want to let them go either, though. He does have the concussive and the silence, but well, it's sort of split. Between Even though nouns, they want to just farm, and well, that's a free kill bottom. Oh, they actually don't keep the arcane bolts on him, but should be able to die to this. And yeah, we'll do so. Try to do the sort of cool guy play and just walk away before the kill was finished, but you end up looking a little bit silly when you have to turn back around and finish the fight but they do at least finish it the problem is up in the top lane there is a counter maneuver from wildcard three heroes up and on it to that blood seeker and too close to the cliff then they could get oh, one son. open but oh no need the cookie need help oh. stuttered massively there so we missed the first few seconds of that fight it looks like yamsun though is teeping himself away he is going to be able to make it out now they do have to use that Winter's Curse defensively. Sammy is not really going to make it out initially. That's a decent cold embrace, but it won't be enough. As Zeef, the very core part of this team, as the jump, oh, the smoke DK had actually missed, but there's the Acer lines. Might catch him off guard, but this is such a spread out fight. Very spread out here. They did manage to throw down a Mystic Lair into Esk, but he was able to cold embrace and survive for now. Meanwhile, Zeefreak trapped inside of those Serpent Wards, so he may go down, but the rest of the team, they're looking for the kills. Esk is taken out. Yamsa unable to pop the BKB and TP away, so they do get one core out of there, but... Towards bottom. If they aren't careful here with how they break, this is just going to be them really forfeiting a fight. They've got one ward to play on. They see the CK. 
But they don't want the CK. They want the DK. They want to find Z Freak. And they find two. This okay. could be their fight. They've got the Hex, they've got the stun, they've got the trap with the wards. They quickly take down Moo. Husky will fall as well. Meanwhile, to the west, Z Freak trying to get away from Sammy. Not gonna be overly successful Perfect. right now, although okay. he'll regroup with his teammates and well, let's see what Wildcard can find. Sammy's gonna go for the Rolling Thunder, hitting onto Z Freak. They pop Gustav Blaze Lincoln Sphere. The BKB now comes out as well. Now they need the ult. They do manage to get it. But how much damage can they dish out here? Gosable really did not drop very low. He was able to drop the rupture on to the Razor, so they keep him locked in place. Gunner now tries to come in, doing the damage between himself and the bear. It's not enough for the kill, but Yamsun is backing away from the fight, and he needs to make sure he just doesn't tick down. There's going to be a blood right onto him. Is it enough damage in time? No, it's not. But that does mean that Sammy's left kind of out in the open. They'll quickly collapse onto him. is going to become, well, with all these Mega Creeps always in the base, always giving vision for nouns, it's only a matter of time before you get DK stunned, and then you die, and then you use buyback, and then the creeps come in again, and then you're just so behind the exchange, and look at Yamsun. They do it clean, and it's clean. The initiation is there. The Cold Embrace comes out. The Cookie's going to move him out from the Mystic Flare. The problem is it pushed him back into the fight, so yeah, they'll take Yamsun down. He doesn't have buyback, and now the House of Cards will just topple over. The GG will be called, and Nouns, they take the game, and they are heading to the Grand Finals, ZT. Yeah, it's an easy qualification, a uh, super... Right.